Hey guys, it's Brent and Ace. We're back. It's Sunday, the 22nd of October, the second day of the regular season here in eastern South Dakota. Um, it's about 4.35 in the afternoon. We got about two hours left of sunlight. Uh, we're out here at a WPA. We may wait a while, uh, wait a half hour or so before we head out, but uh, about 60 degrees. It has cooled down uh, in the last half hour or so, a little bit. In fact, we just drove through a real light sprinkle. Um, I hope that doesn't continue, but I do hope it continues to cool down. We've got a, oh, I'm gonna say it's a 15 mile an hour southeast wind, whereas yesterday we had an 18 mile an hour north wind. Uh, like the weather in South Dakota, just wait. It'll change. Anyway, um, really fun to be back out after these pheasants. Uh, so far, uh, we, you know, we had the residence weekend last weekend, and then we hunted yesterday quite briefly. Uh, so far, we've seen real good bird numbers. Um, plenty of young ones. Uh, we shot a few last year's birds. So that tells us that, and this was just an area I've been roughly the same area three times and this will be number four and it was a part of the state that just got pounded with snow. How these pheasants made it through is beyond me. You know they find trees and they find what's left of the snow but man I was out here in you know, February and there was, there was just apparently no cover but they found something. Uh, I think they were in trees around farm places some of them in where they could, they moved into town, or, you know, at the edge of a little town where there were some trees or whatever, the, anything they could find. But the rest of it was just vast white wasteland. Um, any case, we're going to give it a whirl. Catch up to you in a little bit. Shit. No shit, it smells first there. No. Oh, shit.
Good boy, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Nice South Dakota rooster. Got kind of a funky tail thing going on there. Oh, that's something weird. Bird. Really nice one. That was an awful lot of excitement for one hand, Ace. I gotta tell ya. That was a lot of excitement for one hand. Hey, 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 hey! For one hand. Come on this way. Let's go around this little swoop. Wasn't just 
one hand there. I dropped a bird. I dropped a bird. Oh, and I fell. I think it was in this stuff. Oh, here it is. Jeez. Tractor ruts in the middle of this. Come on, Ace! Okay, 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 you got it. Oh, oh, come, good boy, good boy. You caught him, cut, it. fetch, fetch. Right in the ditch. Caught our limit, I'll be darned. Good boy. <laughs> he was buried in there, wasn't he? I'll be darned. Number three, closed nose. Public land. 
Young of the year bird. He's got his tail feathers. I suppose I could go look in the ditch. But I'm not thinking that these ones are very impressive. Well, it's not quite as fun as a flush and a shot, but it's my dog being amazing. And for the second time ever, fetching. Come on, Ace! Catching one of the right color that was not wounded. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Do you do that? Football. You got him again, didn't you, Ace? Well, so anyway, good job, Ace. We got him. Uh, fourth hunt in a row on public land in South Dakota. Um, we hunted about an hour and a half today. Uh, this spot has, oh, there's probably a quarter mile, uh, a quarter mile by a half a mile, what's that, 160 acres of uh, hunting habitat adjacent to it. And as soon as we pulled up, we saw two big groups of pheasants come out of the private grass out into this sorghum and so that's where the majority of them are go figure uh, up on the other end we saw some pheasants um, got a couple um, one I didn't get on film my camera had died uh, the other one we saw three roosters and a hen on uh, one spot a couple other birds. There were pl there's plenty of pheasants around here, guys. Uh, you just got to get out after them. Um, and we were lucky enough that they weren't all on that private side because they could have just as well been. Um, and difficult to hunt because I think this had been grazed. It's not very thick this year. Um, and I see this guy's got, I don't know, I'm not going to touch that thing. But uh, anyway. We're going to catch up with you next weekend for hunt number five on the 2023 season. So far, it's looking pretty good. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.